Hello dear learner, welcome back to our lessons. This is Mathematics Form 2 and as usual keep following me. Our YouTube channel is Wilfred Mumanyi Onkangi hyphen Kiongozi and thank you very much for your subscriptions, link sharing and also liking all the videos that we are doing. As we go through our two subjects mathematics and biology, I wish to thank you all for subscribing intensely into my channel and thank you very much. We are approaching 4,000 subscribers. Now this one is a special dedication to all those who are in Form 2 and uh, of course those who are in Form 3 and 4 for revision purposes as you prepare for this serious exam KCSE. Today I want us to do something about gradients and equations of a straight line or equations of straight lines because this one is very crucial and in any exam that you sit for, be it a cut, be it a small rat or even a serious exam, you are going to get questions from this chapter. So in my first video, the objective of this video is to first of all discuss or even define the term linear equations. Secondly, give you examples on how you are supposed to calculate the gradients of given lines. That is what we are going to do in this case. And to go straight into it, remember in the mathematics we have several types of equations. I can just state a few equations in maths. In Form 1 you talked about simultaneous. Simultaneous equations. These are equations of two unknowns. We have algebraic. Algebraic equations. We have what we call quadratic quadratic equations we have uh, and of course linear equations linear equations in form 3 we shall have uh, equations of circles and this is just a list of a few of the equations that we have in mathematics now my interest is on linear equations which we are calling the equations of a straight line. So linear equations, you can write the following. Linear equations are equations, equations of straight, straight lines. So the term linear comes from a line. So if you have a line, for example, that straight line that way with several points like A and B. Remember, a line has got so many points, but uh, for you to be able to calculate the gradient or find the equation of that line, you require only two points. And that is why every time we shall be referring to a line, we are going to take consideration of two points on that line. So these linear equations are written in the following form. We have several forms but the most popular form that we write linear equations is y is equals to mx plus c. So y is equals to mx plus c. Remember when we have points, points have what we call coordinates. For example in this line as I'm doing, points have what we call coordinates. The x and y coordinate of one point and also in point B, the x and y coordinate. So from these two points with both coordinates, we get y is equals to mx plus c. So linear equations are equations of a straight line or of straight lines and they are written in the form y is equals to mx plus c. Although we shall have other forms, we may say ax plus by is equals to c. We have a over uh, x plus b over y is equals to 1 over c. We shall be doing uh, several forms of these uh, equations. Now the next thing is to define gradients. 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 Gradient is the steepness or the slopeness. This is the steep steepness or what we call the slopeness slopeness of a line of a line i want to again draw another line and show you 
what I'm talking about. So if a line is uh, just straight as the one that I'm sketching down here, like that, that line is not steep. So the gradient, uh, it doesn't have a big gradient. But uh, we can draw another one and uh, at least try to uh, steep it a little, like that. I'm assuming this is the surface and this is the surface. So if we draw another one that is a bit more steep, a bit more steep, slopeness just like a mountain or a hill, the slopey the hill, the higher or the bigger the gradient. So we go that way until we reach a point where we have perpendicular one to the surface. Now the most steep line is this one, which kind of gives us a perpendicular kind of shape to the surface of that line. So this is what we call gradient, the steepness. You start from this one, as you go up, you are increasing the gradient. And that's why you will hear people say, this place is not gentle. This place is so sloppy. This place is steep. And that means the gradient of that place is very high. So the gradient, we have a formula for calculation of the gradient. Gradient, we say there is a small formula. Gradients, gradient is equals to change change in y what i will call into bracket delta y change in y over change change in x i will still call it delta x remember the x's and y's we are considering in this case are of the two points for example if this point is a and this point is b we shall look at how much y has changed I mean, from point A to point B, and how much X has done the same from point A to point B. So all these lines, we can say KT here, we can say X, Y, we can say R, S, and so forth, and so forth. So that is the formula for calculating the gradient. Our first example shall be, uh, given two points, uh, we calculate or we determine the gradient of a given line. Just like a summary of what I want us to understand today. Example one. First example. Example one. Determine the gradient of the line. Determine the gradient. Gradient of we can say gradients because it's a, I will give you like three of them. Determine the gradients of the lines, lines whose points are given, whose points are given. And that one we start with A, we have point A given as 2,3. That means the X coordinate is 2. The y coordinate is 3 for the first point and then point b 5 comma 6 x coordinate y coordinate solution to this uh we will say this 2 on a is x1 and this 5 on b is x2 that means x has changed from 2 to 5 and then of course 3 is y1 and 6 is y2. So when we say gradient, gradient is equals to delta y over delta x or change in y over change in x, we shall say y2, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Because of course, if you want to know the change, you start from where you are, subtract where you are so that you'll be able to get the change. So 6 minus 3, 6 minus 3 over 5 minus 2. This gives you 6 minus 3 is 3 and 5 minus 2 is again 3. So your gradient, your gradient which we shall be referring to as small m is going to be 1 by 3, 1 by 3, 1. That is the first example. Second line, we have a line of course again with two points k and q k is four five and q is uh, six seven so again gradient 
or what we are calling small m will be delta y over delta x or so change in y change in x which is equals to 7 because it's y2 7 minus 5 7 minus 5 uh, over 6 minus 4 again we have 7 minus 5 is 2 and 6 minus 4 is 2 again gradient again is 1 there are no units for gradient you just write 1 your gradient for that line is 1 the last one here uh, we have another one here C and the last one um, a line again with uh, a B points the coordinates of a are 1 comma 3 coordinates of B are 2 comma 8 so what we do again for the gradient which we are calling M we shall say change in y y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 which translates to 8 minus 3 over 2 minus 1 so the gradient is 8 minus 3 is 5 over 2 minus 1 is 1 so the gradient which is m is 5 that is simply what you do when you have two points and you're looking for the gradient of that line that you have its two points we go to the last thing uh in this video i want the video to be as short as possible finding the equation of a line given finding the equation of a line finding finding the equation of a line finding the equation of a line when you're given given finding the equation of a line given a two points two points when you're given two points just for example you're given um two points of a line like this one and this one and you're supposed to look for its equation so you go a step higher after finding the gradient because that's what we have done in a few minutes ago uh, you go a step higher and look for the gradient let me give you an example of how we find the equation of a line when we're given two points equation this is the key term equation of a line when given two points example um find the equation example i just give one example for that find find the equation find the equation of the line find the equation of the line through that passes through uh, we can call it line uh, uh, x that passes through that passes through we are calling that line x that passes through the points that passes through the points that passes through the points uh points a whose coordinates are given coordinates are given and uh, b whose coordinates are two like that so the first thing is find the gradient so i will say solution here we first of all find the gradient i will sketch the line here say a here this line is called line x line x so our coordinates for a are 1 comma 3 and coordinates for b are 2 comma 8 so what we do first of all we find the gradient we calculate or we calculate we find the gradient that's the first step and the gradient as usual we shall say change in y which is 8 minus 3 over change in x which is 2 minus 3 8 minus 3 2 minus 1 2 minus 1 2 minus 1 so what we do is 8 minus 3 is 5 and 2 minus 1 is 1 so the gradient or m is 5 once you have the gradient you use the gradient and one point in fact you can use the gradient use the gradient use the gradient use the gradient and either use the gradient and either of the two points either of the points to find 
that equation. So for example, we have the gradient which is 5. I put a column and then I suspect, I think we can choose 1, 3. Uh, we use point A which is 1, 3. Then you imagine of another point X, Y and then you try to find the gradient 5 by the formula. So we said y minus 3, y minus 3 over x minus 1 is equals to the gradient which is 5. So you apply the formula for finding the gradient, but you come up with one imaginary point and one point that you have in your question. So what you do, uh, you can cross multiply or else multiply by x minus 1 on this side and also x minus 1 on this other side. So this one cancels with this is equivalent to cross multiplication. So what you'll have is y minus 3 is equals to 5 times x is 5x. Minus 5 times 1 is minus 5. So you put your formation now, you'll put the like terms together first. y is equals to, actually this negative 3 must go to the other side, 5x minus 5 plus 3. That is why I want us to arrange this work so that we get our equation in the form y is equals to mx plus c. So in this case, we have y is equals to 5x. Uh, negative 5 plus 3 is negative 2, so minus 2. That is how you calculate, that's how you find the gradient of that line. Find the gradient, use the gradient with one of the points, and then apply the formula for the gradient and get the equation in that form. The very last example, now for B, because A we said when you have two points, that is how you look for the gradient and the equation of that line. What about when you have just one point and the, the, the gradients? Example two and the last one here. Uh, we can call it from an, uh, we can say B. We can say B here. Uh, when you're given a point, a point, and the gradient, the gradient. Although, from the first example, this seems like a very short process because we've already covered uh, the whole of it. This question goes like this. Determine the equation. Determine the equation. Determine the equation of a line of a line determine the equation of a line with gradient 3 with gradient 3 passing this line passes through the point through the point passing through the point 1 5 1 comma 5 this one is a very direct and a very short one because we've already said solution here we've already said that if you have the gradient which is 3 you put a colon and then you put the coordinates of the point that you're given and you imagine of another point x y then you apply the formula for gradient so y minus 5 over x minus 1 for the change in y change in x is equals to 3 again this time around, I want to show you how we cross multiply. 3 is like 3 over 1. So we cross multiply. Cross multiplication means y minus 5 times 1. So 1 times y minus 5 is equals to uh, 3 times x minus 1. Of course, you must apply the brackets properly. So y, open the bracket. 1 times y is y. Uh, 1 times negative 5 is negative 5. Is equals to 3 times x is 3x. Minus 3 times 1 is 3. So again, like terms together, like terms together, like terms together, uh, this is what we get. We must ensure that we write the equation in the form y is equals to mx plus c. So y remains on this side, the x's and the constants goes to the other side. So y will be equal to 3x minus 3 plus 5. Reason why I say plus is because this minus 5 crosses the other side of the equal sign and it becomes positive 5. So this one gives us y is equals to 3x uh, plus 5 minus 3 is plus 2. That is the equation of that line. So thank you very much for watching my video. 
keep watch watching the videos and please remember we are very consistent in giving you this content see you in the next video